I think the foundation uh, was was an opportunity to, to to get my get my life back on track. When you go through something like that, you know, your compass is thrown way right off. You know, and I think the foundation was almost a way to to revive myself. It has been 10 amazing years since we first started the Rippin Foundation. And while it seems like the time has flown by, we can't help but look back with amazing amount of pride and gratitude for all that we've been able to accomplish and all the friendships we've made since we set off on this mission. 10 years, a decade. It can seem like a lifetime when you're looking forward, yet it can disappear in the blink of an eye behind you. Well, uh, Mark and Randy called me and asked me to go to lunch, and they brought this football and said, what we'd like to do is order 10,000 of these, and we want to sell them through your branches, and we're going to raise the seed money to start the foundation. I thought it was one of the stupidest ideas I'd ever heard. We did it. We got students around from the different high schools to fill these things up. We put them in our branches, and they sold like hotcakes. So when they came to me, it was like, can you do a golf tournament for us? And I said, no, I can't really do that, but maybe you can join in on our tournament. So that's how the relationship really began. And we've always felt that it was a great thing to do because of the local ties that it has here, and it was an important cause. The story, I mean, the story of Andrew uh, is a compelling story. And a lot of people, you know, in Mark's position, can take it a lot of different ways. He took it the positive way, which, it, which was they're going out and trying to create a foundation to assist in families with kids with cancer who were going through the same thing because he saw so many obstacles. The passion that Mark had and the emotion that he had around the challenges he faced just pulls on your heart. And he's such a great presence in our community. How do you not say, sure, I'll help. I don't know if I've ever met anybody that has, doesn't have some connection to cancer or that's been involved or had a, um, it affect their life somehow, but because we all have. So it's good that it's helping people, our friends, our neighbors. We established the Rippin Foundation with the goal of bringing hope to children and families who are battling cancer. And through the countless smiles and hugs received through the years, it's apparent that the foundation definitely accomplished that goal time and time again. And while this might very well be the most important achievement in the last decade, it certainly hasn't been the only one. I mean, the, the real joy is, is working with the kids um, and seeing, uh, you know, what is a very devastating disease and how and the positiveness that most of these kids, I think, go through and and how they react to how we're giving and what we're doing to help them uh, get through their cancer treatments. When I first met with them, I thought, these are two really well-intentioned people with a really great idea, and this will be fun to raise a little bit of money, and they can do something on a small scope that will be cool. Um, I had no idea that they'd build it into what's happened today yeah. and the support that they've brought, not only from people in our community, but from outside our community as well. So it's been huge and far exceeded my expectation. One of my proudest moments with the foundation was in December of 2012, when we officially opened the doors to the Rippin Foundation Children's Emergency Center. This state-of-the-art facility not only helps provide the specific medical needs of children, it also goes a long way toward removing some of the fear and anxiety that inevitably accompanies a child's visit to the hospital. I, I think it's great. It's one, because now the children have a place of their own to go through there because like any of us, when you've been in an emergency room and you see what most emergency rooms are like and um, who's there and what's going on, it is now for the, these children to have a safe, comfortable place to be, I, I think is good for everyone. It, it just brings such uh, joy to the fact of a bad situation that there's so much positiveness uh, in that wing that uh, it's almost fun to go in there and look around even though you know that uh, kids in that area are going through some real serious illnesses. While we look back at all these accomplishments with an enormous amount of pride, we also know without a doubt that none of it would have been possible without the incredible generosity and selfless dedication of so many of our businesses, donors, 
sponsors and volunteers. Everybody here in Spokane, I mean, to me, this is one of the best communities around because everybody helps each other here. And anytime there's a good, worthy cause or somebody that needs help, I, I love the way the community here gets behind it. Uh, for the foundation, I just think that we're, we're getting stronger as a board. I think we're getting more uh, confirmed in, in what we're doing because when you start off, it's like a child. You're, you're weaning and then you're getting ready to go out. You're walking, all of that. The Ripon Foundation has gone through all of that while I've been there. The last 10 years really has been a whirlwind. And while we're extremely proud of all of our accomplishments and incredibly grateful to all the people who have helped make them possible, we also know that we are just getting started. We have so much more to do and so many more kids and families to help. There are still people in our community who don't realize what the Ripon Foundation does. And I think what's happened with some of these higher visibility projects, what they did at the beginning was really went out and touched a lot of people very quietly. And whether it was the hearing support that they provided, the advocate that they funded, the candlelighters, the families with their packages coming in, they did a lot of really quiet things and built a base of support for people that made a huge impact. And now you see that wing come out of the ground at the emergency room and the impact that has on everybody who passes through that who's a child with cancer or without. It's a huge change and a great thing. Because as long as there are kids and families in our community who are battling cancer, the Ripon Foundation is going to be there to give them the hope they need to get through it.